Russian troops destroyed all the bridges leading to Severodonetsk, but this does not mean that Ukrainian troops are blocked, their local authorities say. However, it is impossible to evacuate people from the city now. Part of the city is still controlled by Ukraine's defenders. Moreover, if Russian troops were in full control of the city, they would not have soldiers dying there. All bridges leading to the regional center have been destroyed. It is impossible to evacuate people and deliver humanitarian aid. The residents of Severodonetsk who remain in the city are surviving in extremely difficult conditions. Serhii Haidai, head of the Luhansk Regional Military Administration. Lysychansk is also fired by large-caliber weapons. Russian invaders are destroying humanitarian headquarters, residential buildings and infrastructure. The situation in the city is extremely difficult. Three civilians were killed by the Russian military in the Donetsk region. Five people were wounded, local authorities said. Three residential buildings and three infrastructure facilities were damaged as a result of shelling by the occupying troops in Bakhmut. One medical institution is also damaged. According to the Institute for the Study of War, the Russian army conducted an unsuccessful offensive to the southeast of Izum and to the north of Slovyansk. The enemy is probably creating conditions for a direct attack on Siversk and settlements to the northwest of Lysychansk. Russian troops also targeted the Sumy region. They hit border villages. The mortar fire was launched from the territory of the Russian Federation. At almost 2 p.m., an enemy drone dropped an ammunition on the territory of Velika Pesarivka territorial community. As a result of the explosion, two people were wounded and one was killed. Around 5 p.m. the community was also shelled with mortars. There were 30 hits. Dmitry Zhevitsky, head of the Sumy Regional Military Administration. Russian troops launched three missiles in the direction of the city of Priluki in the Chernihiv region the day before. Residents of four villages near Priluki were evacuated by the local authorities because of the powerful fire that broke out after the missile strikes. Another mass grave of civilians was uncovered near Bucha in the key region where Russian troops were based in the spring. The victims had their hands tied and their knees shot. Seven civilians were tortured by the Russians and then brutally executed with shots to the head. This is yet another sadistic crime by the Russian army in the Kyiv region. Andriy Nebitov, head of the main directorate of the National Police in the Kyiv region. Russian troops attacked Ukrainian forces' positions in the Mykolaiv and Kherson regions with two Mi-8 helicopters the day before. In general, during the completion of firing tasks, including by our rocket and artillery units, the enemy had losses in the number of 28 military personnel and 10 units of equipment, in addition to air reconnaissance drones. There are m b howitzer command and staff vehicles, five units of armored vehicles and other automotive equipment. Also, Oleksiy Arestovich, advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, stated that Ukrainian armed forces are getting closer to Kherson every day. I want to appeal to the residents of Kherson. We are already close, 10 kilometers from the city. So wait for us, friends. We will be there for sure. How on, everything will be Ukraine. Glory to the armed forces of Ukraine. Reported by Roman Smoller, Mariana Krejcic, UATV News.